Seems like Funimation's having another case of sudden technical issues. Really weird. This is uh, something that Funimation seems to have a recurring theme going on with, which uh, is not something that I've experienced personally, as I don't, I don't use Funimation, but going off Reddit threads and posts I see on social media, seems like there's this epidemic where things with Funimation just don't seem to work properly. And oddly enough, one might even find a correlation of these technical issues getting worse over the last few months since this whole Vic Mignogna controversy started. I don't know if there's a correlation there, and I don't know what the correlation would be, but you can speculate on that. Take a look at this post by my friend Alex, where she wrote, Left this for almost an hour, waiting to watch the new Senko-san anime. Refuses to load. At Funimation, and at Funimation Help, refuses to answer tickets, emails, or Twitter DMs. Frustration to the point that I want to do something really bad. I have to censor that part, but it's not a, not a good thing that Alex wants to do. And what Alex really just wants to do is to watch some anime. That's all they want to do. They don't want to do this thing that they are feeling stressed out about. They just want to watch some anime Funimation. I mean, isn't that literally like your slogan or something? Uh, you should be watching. <laughs> isn't that ironic? So I'll play a piece of her clip here now. It's a minute and 20 seconds of straight up buffering. We're not going to go through the entire minute and 20 seconds, but just take a look. It's, it's telling enough. This whole thing reminds me of the uh, <laughs> the news back in February where Funimation allegedly wasn't letting people unsubscribe from their subscription service. A Reddit user wrote, just going to leave this here. Funimation be doing shady stuff again. I ran through the anime I wanted to watch, Black Clover and some others, and wanted to cancel my subscription. This is what I found after the cancel subscription button didn't do anything after I clicked it. Shows some coding there and writes, for those who don't know HTML, the tag, it's effectively the guts of a button. The internal workings that... Make the button work on any HTML page, which is every internet page ever, basically. The keep my subscription button is tied to this string. Notice how this string has a link in the directory called account subscription, which when clicked, leads back to the same page as you're currently on. Then continue to write, the cancel subscription button has no such link. Instead, the pound symbol's there, which doesn't go anywhere. This effectively means anyone who does click the cancel button will have it go nowhere fast, effectively rendering them unable to unsubscribe. It's like I pulled my light switch from the wall, cut the wires behind it, and then placed it back like nothing ever happened. And this can only be done by the site developers for Funimation. And for the record, I've already sent the support request for cancellation. I just wanted to let anyone interested know what may be going on behind the scenes. If this is a fluke or this is some magically changed back to being functional after some Funimation people see this, then I guess it's all good. I just found this incredibly dishonest. Minor edit, just so people can actually see that the line of code applies to the cancel button and post another picture there, backing it up. And what's really weird, a follow-up, I went to that Reddit thread a moment ago and it's actually deleted. I don't know if the user deleted it or if a moderator deleted it. I don't know, but still seems kind of weird. Anyways, why don't we talk some more about the Funimation subreddit? That's a good one. Another post here says, Am I the only one having these issues? I use Amazon Prime, Netflix, Crunchyroll, and now Funimation, since there were a few shows on here that I couldn't watch on other services. Seems like that person's regretting that choice already. Continues to write, But all of the streaming platforms, I've never had so much trouble just trying to watch a show. I either watch on a PS4 or using the Roku TV app, and the TV app is completely broken, as it defaults to English voices no matter what you do, and is pretty buggy to move around in. Then there's the PS4 app, which is normally alright, but recently for Ping Pong, the animation, the subtitles are showing up 10 to 15 seconds before the actual dialogue is spoken, which makes it nearly impossible to follow, at least for episode 5 and onwards. Now granted, most of the shows I've watched on the PS4 app have actually been absolutely fine. The website is abysmal to use. Trying to change the order of the queue is impossible as far as I can tell. Is it just me that's having these issues? I, I don't think so. If you take a look at the Reddit, it's filled with tech support issues. We'll take a look at some more posts in a moment. Anyways, the op continued on to write, Why isn't this service up to par with other similar streaming services? I don't see any reason to continue using this if issues like this are still here after the amount of time the service has been running. Just want to know if the problems I'm facing have easy fixes or if it's maybe something on my end if I'm the only one seeing these issues. Thanks. There was a few responses. One user said, I haven't been able to watch Funimation on my PS4 all week. I didn't try yesterday, but it just buffers the whole time, every time I try to start a show. Another user wrote, It's not you. Funimation is garbage. And another post here wrote, PS4 app not playing, similar to what we just read. Clearly, this is not just that one user having a problem here. This person writes, I have a PS4, and it seems like the app is working great, but it won't play anything. It's just a black screen with a loading wheel. 
This is an ongoing issue, and I can usually work around it by backing out or restarting the app. But today, nothing is making it play. All I want to do is see the new episode of Attack on Titan. This poor fellow, if they're watching the new season, it's about to be wrapped up. It's getting really intense. They just want to watch that new episode. Come on, Funimation. This person's paying for your premium service. Really worth the money, isn't it? They then wrote, debating on going to Crunchyroll. Maybe they patch their apps more often. And yes, I submitted a ticket the other day about the issue, but I'm pessimistic about the outcome. And from the prior post, it seems like those tech support tickets are not exactly going so well for people. Well, this user also got some responses. One response was, I'm having the same problem, but it's happening for every show I try. The PS4 app is complete garbage, and I doubt it will work. I've tried dozens of times for hours of closing and reopening, even deleting and reinstalling the app, but it still won't work, so I'm stuck using the mobile app if I want to watch anything. Good luck with getting it to work. I hope you get further than I've managed. Before we even move on from this one, can we take a second to reread that? This person tried dozens of times for hours, closing and reopening the app. Literally the definition of madness there. The same thing over and over again. For hours, this person is literally going mad, potentially, because this app won't work. They just want their anime Funimation. Come on, you're supposed to be watching, right? You should be watching, but can you be watching? That's the real question, Funimation. Some responses, keep exiting the app and then close and try again. I had to do this with almost every episode of Tokyo Ghoul the past week. Can you imagine a world where the best advice you have is to just keep exiting the app and closing it and reopening it again for who knows how long? It could be 20 minutes, could be two hours, could be all day, but no, no problem. Eventually it might work. It might work. And keep in mind, if it does work, well, you just got to repeat that process every single episode you want to watch. Great way to spend your time, isn't it? Another response corroborating that says, I finally got it to work, but you're totally right. It's with pretty much every episode. Now that Shield Hero is over, I'm probably going to cancel and just use Hulu for a while. Another user wrote, How long do you let the loading wheel go? I've let it go for about two to three minutes sometimes, and the episode finally starts. I usually only have this problem on Sunday night, though, probably because everyone is hitting the server to watch Attack on Titan. So there you go. I guess you have some options. You can either force close the app and restart it X number of times and hope that it works, or you can just let the buffering continue on and on and on for maybe two to three minutes and it, it might work then. But that clearly doesn't work for everybody. So who knows? What, what are you better off doing? Restarting the app or just letting it buffer infinitely? Seems the uh, letting it buffer approach didn't work for this guy though, who wrote, sometimes I let it go until it stops and the screen is just black. So no more buffering for them, but <laughs> they don't get anything at all. What a complete mess. Another user wrote, same bro, I'm trying to watch Attack on Titan Simuldub. But like you said, for minutes on end, it's just the buffer wheel. And another user wrote, I'm in the same boat. I want to be chill about it, but I just feel angry. So these people are arguably losing their mind for hours and hours of restarting the app. And other people are just getting angry. They just want to watch their anime. They're paying for this product and it's stressing them out. It's making them upset. It's doing pretty much anything except making them chill and relax and enjoy the entertainment that they're paying for. You think that's bad? Take a look at this dude who alleges that he was subscribed again after canceling. So he says, subscription automatically reactivated? I stopped after a free trial. I logged back in today after two months and found that my sub is still active. I'm 100% sure I canceled the free trial slash auto renew. I triple checked. What's going on here? Holy smokes. This stuff just gets worse and worse. Here's another example of some more technical problems. Dude writes, web page won't load. All right, so for pretty much a week now, my Funimation just does this. It's literally just like a blank page. Oh, but they have the shopping cart in the corner. That's good. So you, you can check out and buy stuff. You just can't use anything. No worries, though. Funimation gets some money in their pocket, so it's all good. I hear that might be going to Vic Mignogna soon, though. So uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, the bottom of the text writes, Every time I go to the website, on top of that, I tried going to the website multiple ways and hitting the login button, which proceeds to just load for a while and then loop back to this page. Any ideas? Really wanting to catch up on some shows, but nothing I do seems to change anything. Finally, uh, you know, we've established that the R Funimation subreddit is full of people just trying to watch anime who are having tons of technical issues with the product, with Funimation. And what does the moderating team for R Funimation do? Brag about hitting 3,000 members. Instead of, instead of hitting those tech support issues and helping resolve them, they're here bragging about all the people in their subreddit, even though most of those people just 
have problems with the product working. This moderator wrote, 3,000 members and counting. Hello, everyone. We hit 3K subscribers on the subreddit today, which is awesome to see. <laughs> is it? Is it? When most of them are complaining about the product, it, it's really awesome, isn't it? Isn't that great? If you really feel that way, holy smokes, you're not even hiding the fact that you're taking advantage of these people. I'm still very happy to see the subreddit grow. You're happy to see it grow when it's growing because of technical issues. Holy smokes. And become more active with discussion. The discussion where people are complaining again about the product and there's a lack of any help. You have, uh, you have users trying to troubleshoot with each other. That's really the only help they're getting is from each other for the most part. Then continues on, anime news and announcements. I hope that this will continue to be a place for people to come uh, to when wanting to discuss the service or anime with others. On another note, I'd like to keep the doors open for suggestions to make this place better. I'm still in search of someone who'd be willing to help out with the CSS on old Reddit, as I've done all I could with the new Reddit look. If you have any suggestion for changes here or want to help out with the CSS, be sure to leave a comment or message the mods. Speaking of mods, Funimation moderator Waxter, that's pretty fitting, has joined the moderating team here. They've been around here for a while, posting news of upcoming anime and joining in, in the discussion. Happy to have him here. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks again for getting this place to 3K. So, you know, instead of helping the users on their subreddit who need technical support issues, they're, uh, they're asking for help. They need help. They, they want help with the coding of the subreddit. Screw your complaints and your problems. Screw you getting help for the product you're paying for. These people want you to help them for free. Help them for free and give them your money. Like you're a literal schmuck on wheels over here. If you found this Funimation trash fire interesting, be sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so your subscription can most likely actually work. The things you gotta do. Some shout outs for the people who promoted my last video on Twitter. Thank you guys. That video being Imagine Censoring an Anime Character, Vic Mignogna's Crow Bronwyn, removed from Ruby Banner on iTunes. Shouts out to Cameron Leo S. Glenos Beta, Random Fandom, Stormy, Hashtag I Stand With Vic, Anime Tony, Harvisu, Mr. Anime 343, Misty Halley, or <laughs> Misty, Misty Howler, my bad, uh, Pyroceptive, Blasian Domo, and Rose. Thank you for the help in promoting that. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.